as reproductive endocrinologists, we are trained in OBGYN. We're board certified in OBGYN, and then we obtain an additional board certification in reproductive endocrinology. I, I think that, so the first question is, when is the right time to see a reproductive, reproductive endocrinologist? And you're never wrong. Earlier is never really the wrong answer, because at the end of the day, if you if you're concerned about your fertility for whatever purpose, because of what your friends are going through, or what your family's been through, you're never wrong just to see someone to get the basic knowledge about what it takes to achieve a pregnancy and just to make sure everything's working appropriately. So if you're, generally we say in a younger patient, if you've been trying for about 12 months, maybe, and it's not working, maybe it's time to see somebody. Why do we use 12 months? Because in a totally healthy peak of their fertility in life, 25 year old couple, they have about a 15 to 20% chance per month of achieving a pregnancy, which, which sounds abysmal. Humans are just not efficient at reproduction. So by the end of six months, you expect for about 60% of those couples to be pregnant. By the end of 12 months, you expect about 90% of those couples to be pregnant, which is why we use 12 months as the cutoff in a young patient. And someone who's over 35, because of the rapidly declining genetic quality of the eggs that I spoke about earlier, we really recommend they seek care after about six months. Um, the reason to go to reproductive endocrinologist is that we have been trained and have the, the knowledge and the tools to not only do the workup, but be able to counsel you on the treatments. So there are many general OBGYNs who offer treatments such as Clomid, et cetera, but if you, and many know the mechanism and monitor appropriately, but, but they haven't been trained to do so. So um, even something as simple as taking Clomid without monitoring still has risks, such as higher order multiple pregnancies, triplets, quadruplets. Um, Clomid does carry side effects you know, and risks that you should be, very rare, but that you should definitely be aware of, and a reproductive endocrinologist is more than equipped to be able to, to answer those questions appropriately. Mm -hmm.